I was pondering this. And the Lord woke me up at 3 a.m. to pray. Oh, one of the weepings and the heavies as I begin to ponder. Because he's really been having me cry out for the homosexual community. Because many are evangelists. They have been whipped up and bent to the wheel of the enemy. And as I was praying, I began to see these images. And it's this one young boy. I don't know who he is. But I know they use him in the so-called cover girl models. He's posing in these homosexual magazines. I'm pretty sure many of y'all know who I'm talking about. They put a lot of makeup on him. They be having him on stage, stripping with the men naked. And I look, this guy, this, ba this baby got so many devils. And I begin to weep. And weep and weep and weep. And all I could do was pray in my heavenly language. No English came out at all. I prayed my heavenly tongue and weeped for him. And I knew I was crying out for them. Because it's because the church is doing nothing about it now. Is that he'll become that perverted, rapist, angry man when he's older. And he said nobody's crying out now when he's being abused. When he's being conformed and shaped in iniquity. When he's being bent to the will of the enemy. Until he is yielded. And he no longer has to be forced to do the violence. He no longer has to be forced to do the lewdness because he has been bent to the will of Satan. And as I cried out for the homosexuals, because many of them are in here from rape, molestation, uh, pornography, or something that their own parents did before them to mess their mind up early. Being raped by a loved one. And struggling with it. But then all we see is once he's a grown man. This is what he said. All they'll see is once he's a man is this perverted, filthy man that no one wants anything to do with when he's being bit, bent to the enemy right now. He should have been cried out for and delivered right now. But once he becomes a man, they won't look at him like, poor child. Oh, look at that baby. They'll say you're filthy. They'll look at him in disgust when he should have been cried out for him right now. They become those 50 men because everyone looks over if you know family members that did it because you don't want to embarrass the family. I'm not worried about the family. The family of God is going to be the only one you left with. And I've told y'all, those of you who have molested people, it ain't about getting you in public, taking you to jail. But you better get behind closed doors with the people you violated and make it right right now. Because you don't know when you're leaving here. And you have made them carry the wounds of your perversion all their lives. You repent. You get behind closed doors and y'all repent before the Father that he may begin to heal you. Don't close your eyes and not making it right. You may not like when you wake up. You don't get to say, I, I believe and I serve the Lord. And then you're not going to make it right because the Spirit is going to tell you to make it right if he is. I said all that to say this.